Hey, what's up guys, it's Claudio here, and today I'm reviewing the Oracase B2, the Rode version, and I'm gonna show you everything. I just came back from Tulsa Tough, and it was such a great experience. I took this baby out there for the first time. I still have not unpacked it since I got back two days ago. So today I'm gonna unpack the whole thing, and we're gonna give it a review. We're gonna see if anything's broken, anything's wrong with it. On the way there, it was totally fine. I haven't peeked inside since I got back. So let's take a look. First of all, let's check out how this thing moves around. So I'm carrying it like this all over the airport. Easy. It's got a handle up here. It's got a handle here and it's got a handle right here, which came in handy when you were taking it in and out of the cars. And by the way, this is not a sponsored video at all. All right, so I'm gonna talk about what I packed in here. I packed this baby up, okay? I put all, everything that I could, I brought it up to 49 pounds. Actually, I'm gonna weigh it right now. Okay, it's 48.1 pounds, and man, I packed it full. I put all kinds of things. I'm gonna show you guys what I was able to pack in there along with my bike to bring it up to almost uh, the maximum 50 pounds. Starting off, I want to take a look at this feature here. It's got this fun therapy equipment handle with care patch. Check that out. And if you don't want to have that, you can just take it off. Stealth mode. But I like having it. It's fun. On the outside, we got a pocket. And I put an air tag. This is a pro move. Air tag, it helped me track the whole thing with my phone. And during the connection flight, I was really, really worried that it might not make it. I was able to look at my phone and see that it was right there on the plane. So, pro tip, get an air tag. Let's see what I have in here. Uh, a couple small bits and some more of, of their straps. Really came in handy. So we've got this pocket and on the other side, we've got another pocket that has the backpack straps, which I didn't use because um, 50 pounds on my back is not gonna feel very good before and after a race but it's there if you, if you need it. We've got compression straps everywhere. We've got a real solid base and pretty solid wheels. I liked it. So real quick, I wanna talk about the pros and cons of this case before we get started. Pros, it's very small. It's probably the smallest case that there is, the most compact. It'll fit in the back of an Uber easily. On the trunk of any car, you don't need an Uber XL and it's easy to carry around. The cons are that you do have to break down your bike significantly, taking the fork off, you're gonna see everything. It takes some uh, practice to put your bike in here. I remember the very first time I put my bike in here, I was kind of scared, I didn't know what I was doing, even though I watched the videos. It's kind of intimidating because you have to position it in just the right way and shift everything. The first time I packed it, it took me over 30 minutes. Second time, also over 30 minutes. Now I could probably do it in about 25, 20 minutes. Okay, the moment of truth. Let's see how my bike did on the way back. I'm in New York. I flew from Tulsa to Dallas, Dallas to New York. All right. This big flap opens and we have another pocket right here, which I liked a lot. I got tools. I don't have travel Allen wrenches, so I just brought the whole thing. Uh, a chain tool, scissors, I don't know why. Oh, and my chain also in there. My hanger, I left my hanger on my bike and I had to put extra padding right here because it was just kind of sticking out. Let's take a look. It looks fine. Hanger survived. I couldn't take the hanger out because the screws were stripped. So I would recommend that if you have a hanger, just put extra padding on there. Let's take a look. Let me show you guys. Just like that. Let's start with this wheel. Oh my. Oh no. What is all this rattling around? I probably did something that I shouldn't. Okay, it was uh, the skewer goes in here, but it's not really secure. So, it, it, so that's not cool. I should have taped it up in here. I got both my skewers in here. So lesson learned, I got to like put some tape on there. The wheel, okay, let's see. This wheel is all scratched up anyway, so it's hard to see if the skewers really damaged it because this is a real crashy uh, bike. And um, looks good. It looks fine. 
So I do a lot of crit racing and this is my crit racing bike. I'm not too worried about getting it all scratched up. It is what it is. I got kits just floating around in there as extra padding. I got my swimming suit. Oh, I got the TSA. They looked inside. So the case, I got it with these pads that come with it, these custom pads. I do recommend the pads. They're a little extra. I'll put the pricing all up here, uh, the costs. But I do like how they all fit together. Let's look at my other wheel. Oh, is this good? My disc, I didn't take this disc out because I don't have the center lock on it and you need another tool. I didn't want to bring the tool. I mean, this wheel looks fine. Okay, my rear derailleur, I pack it like this. It looks good. I threw in there my saddle bag. Wow, so much stuff. You're gonna need a lot of bags. So get yourself a box of Ziplocs and you can put like your grease in there, so many. I've got my bearings and my spacers, lotion, water bottles, all just in there. First aid kit in there, wax lube. A nice handy little pump here. This is great. This is by Lazine, Lazine, and it's got a meter and everything. Love this thing. Spare tire, spare tube, some lights, Swiss Army knife, Nutrition, oh man, my disc, I just, wow, it's floating around in there. It, it was in here, but it fell off. Okay, this seems fine. There it is. Check out these pads, the custom pads. I like them. I recommend the pads. If you got the extra bucks, get those custom pads. And this is how it goes in there, just like that. It's really weird because it's gotta go in just the right direction. Another tube. Zip ties, bleed kit, it was leaking a little bit, whoops. GoPro mount, you're gonna see it's got two pockets, which I really like. It's got this front pocket. Let's see what I put in here. I put more Allen keys. Again, I don't have the travel ones. Torque wrench, and this is for the center lock for my disc brake, my pedals. And that's it. So these pockets are really handy. I like them. I like them a lot. And that's the case. Totally solid case. I think my bike is okay. I'm going to put it together and I'm going to find out. I'll, I'll let you guys know. But it looks totally legit. Everything looks great. I'm happy. This case comes apart. So if I, if I wanted to put it under my bed, it folds up. Um, I got to take the panels out and then you can, it folds up to like right here and then you can just stick it under your bed or wherever in the closet. But it's, I'm liking it. So far, I'm happy. It's a, it's a good experience. Now that I see my bike is, is in good condition, I'm happy with it. Um, it is a little on the expensive side, but again, it's really compact. It's the small, one of the smallest in the market. If you're looking for a bag, this is, uh, this is one that I would recommend. My friend has a, one of those big bike bags where you hardly have to take your bike apart. He put his bike together in five minutes. It took me over 30 minutes to put my bike together. So that's the trade-off, um, size versus speed. If you have the time, I mean, 30 minutes is not that, that long to put a bike together, it's, it's whatever. I'm gonna give you guys a closer look here. First glance looks good. Handlebars are intact. I got carbon handlebars, they look good. So let me know what you guys think. Is this the kind of bag that you would get? Do you, would you recommend a bigger bag, different, a hard case? Um, this is technically a soft case. So, you know, if it gets hit, if it gets dropped dramatically, something could happen. Let me know what you guys re would recommend um, or if you have any experience with the Aura case. We'd love to hear it in the comments down below. And please subscribe for more content like this. Um, you know that I'm gonna have the Tulsa Tough race reviews, including Crybaby Hill. Those videos are gonna be coming up really soon, so stay tuned for those. And if you'd like to know why I'm wearing my Whoop band on my arm, leave a comment down below and I'll leave you guys a review for the Whoop. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Peace. Good boy!